includes repacking uh, the stuffing box with three layers of quarter inch graphite impregnated um, material which creates the seal it keeps water out uh, the graphite is uh, semi dripless uh, you'll see a drip every now and then but a lot lot less water coming in than the traditional flax packing we've also replaced the hose clamps and the hose that goes between the stern tube of the boat and the packing gland itself. All boats that have a motor uh, have to connect the propeller shaft to the motor and go from inside of the boat to outside of the boat. Uh, as you can see there's quite a bit of area between the propeller shaft which is silver here and the stern tube of the boat which is essentially the outer of the hull. <clears throat> What we use to uh, keep water from coming in and allow the propeller shaft to freely turn is what's known as a stuffing box, which consists of a couple different parts. Um, one is the packing gland, or you could call it a stuffing gland, where a uh, graphite or Teflon impregnated material is wrapped or stuffed within it and then placed over the shaft. and screw down onto the gl packing gland itself thereby creating a seal that is semi waterproof um, a normally functioning stuffing box will allow a certain amount of water to drip while not getting hot to the touch while the propeller shaft is being driven the uh, packing gland or uh, the packing gland nut is stuffed with a flax or Teflon or graphite impregnated material that is compressed to allow the propeller shaft to continue to turn while keeping most of the water out. A properly functioning stuffing box of this design would allow a, probably about a drip every two and a half to three minutes. This keeps it cool and also allows the propeller shaft to continue to turn.